Today we're talking about the ballerinas of the garden, the beautiful, elegant fuchsia plants. Fuchsias not only make great container plants, but they're also fantastic in the garden. In a dappled sunlight or a morning sun, they are perfect. Avoid the full sun or the hot afternoon sun because that's when these little delicate guys become burnt and scorched. They need loads of food and you need to make sure that they're well mulched. First up, you need a pot with a nice drainage hole. This is a block of palm peat from Stark Airs, which you've deconstructed already by adding water into it. We are going to need some drainage pebbles. The drainage pebbles will go at the bottom of your pot. What we're going to do now is get our mixture ready. Cut a little strip at the top of the bag and then empty this into your trug. Next up, we are going to add our coconut husk. And it's important that we add this in because this is the moisture. The ratio that you're going to use is four parts of potting soil to one part coconut husk. And all we do is pop it in. There we go. We're gonna add a handful of our Atlantic Bio Ocean. And remember, this is an organic pellet and it is going to give this plant everything that it's gonna need. In that goes. And next up, the fun part, just like you're making a muffin mix, is to give it a good mix. This is the little container that I bought it in. The pot is at least three times the volume of our small pot to be able to give it space to grow. In go the drainage pebbles. We take our beautiful mixture and we fill up our pot just over halfway. Right, take your hand and firm it down. Obviously, if the pot is sitting up here, you've added in too much soil. And just open it up a little bit like that. What this does is it tells the plant, ho oh, oh, ho, I got more space to go, so I'm gonna go searching. And it stops the plant's roots going in these concentric circles. And then Bob's your uncle, take this little guy and pop him in. Next up is we're just gonna fill it in. Once you've filled in, take the back end of your trowel and just push the soil in gently What's very important here is that I have not filled up the soil all the way to the top of the pot. Really important, so when I do water, you will notice that it almost forms a little well so that the water doesn't pour over the edge and expose the roots. Once your fuchsia is settled into its spot, every four to six weeks, give it a handful of bio-ocean around the plant and that's going to sustain all the nutrition that it needs. Well, there you have it, folks. That is all the steps that you need to know to make your fuchsias flourish. If you enjoyed this, like it, share it. Go to our YouTube channel where you can get more great gardening tips to turn your fuchsias and rest of their garden into a blooming success.